Hello everyone, welcome back to the DND learning series. Today we are going to learn about IR sensor or infrared sensor or a proximity switch that we call. This is the sensor which is digital in nature most of the time and you may be wondering about um, what are these uh, pins on it, what are these LEDs. So let us see in detail what, what are the name of all these components. First we will see about the pins. It is having three pins VCC, GND and OUT. So VCC is a pin which we connect to the 5 volt on the Arduino board. The second one which is called GND which will go to the GND on the Arduino board which is negative. The third one is your output pin which carries the signal from the sensor module to the Arduino board which can be connected to any digital pin. If you take an example of Arduino Uno, you can connect it to 0 to 13. There is one more component on this module which is potentiometer or called as trim pot which is used to increase or decrease the range of a sensor. That means by increasing and decreasing the resistance using this, we can increase and decrease the range of a sensor. So this is a sensing part. It is having IR emitter and IR receiver. So both of these combinedly work to give a signal so this part is called as module okay so this entirely is a sensor module IR sensor module so here is a difference you can see that if you want to exactly replicate the IR sensor on breadboard this is how it will look like so to just reduce that so we are having IR sensor in the form of module which will be easy for us to use in a circuit where we are using a multiple number of sensors so to avoid all this big circuit using a different registers and ICs. So we are using the same IR transmitter and receiver along with the module. So this is going to help you. So here you can see that how the sensor is working. Sensor is having two LEDs as I said one is clear another is black. So clear one is emitting the infrared. So the emitted infrareds are going to go and bounce back from the object surface within a range and it will be received by the IR receiver. So this is how it detects any object and the range can be 2 to 10 centimeters. So here is one sample connections what we did. Uh, so you can see that as I explained GND and VCC have been connected to their respective locations and the digital output pin is connected to the pin number 2 here. So this is one small project where uh, LED can be controlled any LED is glowing can be controlled using the IR sensor. If the IR sensor is sensing any object then the LED will be on if it is not then it will be off. So this is how we can use it. So to understand the IR sensor better here you can see a general life example automatic tap. You can see the automatic soap dispenser. Uh, you might have seen these automatic door openings in the malls and cinema theaters or maybe a parking sensor. So we understood about the IR sensor but what are the small projects that we can make with this sensor. So let us see some of them. So first thing that uh, I actually know because most of the students do it a smart dustbin using IR sensor, servo motor and the Arduino Uno. A smart stick for the blind people to just detect the depth or any object in the front you can use that. You can make a small alarm using a buzzer along with the IR sensor just with your cupboard or you can make a small project for a burglar alarm. So this is how you can make use of the IR sensor. So that's for the day. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, share and press the bell icon. Thank you.